I, when I watched the show in reruns in the late 80s, of course, I'm probably watching syndicated prints for all I know, I just remember sitting down and enjoying the show and seeing people like Don DeFore, who went off to do Hazel before, his, before he was on Hazel, Frank Cady before he was off to do Petticoat Junction and Green Acres in their younger years. And it's surprising, you know, you see how, saw how they were before they went on to do other shows, too. And sometimes you wonder why they left, because they didn't go right to those other shows. There was some time between. So you sometimes you know, really wondering why they left the show. Was there a reason for it? I'm thinking it's the same. It was a family show. Like I Love Lucy had Lucy and Desi on the show together. Here you had the entire family, the, the husband, wife, and the children, and you watch the children grow before, the, before their eyes. And it's surprising a show for 14 seasons that, and I checked the ratings too, it says only one season out of 14, they made the top 25, but yet it still endured. I mean, it probably has a lot to do, I'm sure, with Ozzie Nelson and his business sense, going to the sponsors, the sponsors have to believe in you to get to keep on the air. Not like today where your you sponsors, yet sponsors have to pay millions of dollars for a show and if they don't like you, you don't even last 13 weeks anymore, you're off the air in a matter of seconds. <laughs> I was so amused by television the way, because I think at that point it was still in the growing stages. The 50s, it was, you know, it was still a virgin territory more or less. In the 60s, they kept trying to break new grounds. In the 70s, All in the Family came along and Norman Lear and they started breaking more ground there. But nowadays, I mean, I, you, people will be surprised. I said, I only get, I only subscribe to 20 channels because I don't need all those channels. There's nothing on anymore. Somebody was reading a comic in the paper a couple maybe a year or so ago. In, around 60 years ago, we had two channels. We couldn't make up our mind whether to watch the Ed Sullivan Show or the Comedy Hour. Now today, we have over 200 channels and can't find anything to watch. And I said, well, don't look at me. I only get 20 channels because I don't need those channels. There's nothing on. As a family show, it was not like a show today where people are jumping into bed together, having, you know, getting naked on the television now. I mean, these things are happening now on television and in front of live audience type shows too. And I don't need that. I mean, whatever happened to the olden days? A lot of most shows do give a lesson. I mean, sometimes you don't even really realize there is a lesson there, but not just in Ozzie and Harriet's show, but I remember seeing even Donna Reed's show, there was usually some kind of lesson learned. And that's one of the reasons why, uh, for example, the Andy Griffith show, people said that they use episodes of the Andy Griffith show f as part of their religious services and sermons. I've heard about that. Uh, from TV shows on DVD.com, I've when people have mentioned certain shows, and I said, well, if you really want to know when they're going to come out in DVD, go to that website, create yourself an account. I said, I, I did. I found it by accident years ago. I just listed about, a, I got about 100 shows I'm looking for out there. There are some of them that have come out in DVD. Some of them are coming out with updated DVDs. But I'm just waiting to see if anything comes out that I'm interested in. Maybe once a week I'll go through and see. Oh, there's a show. It's coming out in DVD. I forgot all about that show. And that's one thing I said about, about this. I said you can get what you want. You aren't going to have to sit there and wait for it to come out in reruns and watch this 22 and a half minute or less syndicated print. You're going to get the whole show. You're going to get bonuses. You can get commercials with the stars doing the, the commercial spots. You're going to get the original openings with the sponsor's products, the closings. And you also sometimes do get the syndicated openings and closings too. You can have a choice of what you want to see. But pr truthfully, I said I would write this, like to see the original in its true state, true original format. I was with somebody in a family that her, their daughter was going off to be a missionary for the Mormon Church back in the early 80s. And one of the ladies came up to do a presentation, you know, part of their, her send-off, and that she put these potatoes on the table. And the first potato was the commentator, the one who just talks about. The next one was the spectator, the one who just sits there and watches. 
and I can't remember any of the potatoes. The last one was called the participator, play on words. And she said at the end, this, the, this participator is the one that goes out and actually does it. I think we should all be participators. So here was a chance for me to participate in this and give my support, sponsor, and try to give, you know, give as much support as I can to a project that needs to be done. I wasn't really, I just want to sit there and just do what I have to do. Do what I needed to do, give them as much support as I can, as much support as you want from me. Try to remain, you know, re retain a, a working relationship if necessary, friendship, make new friends possibly. Hoping that everything works out and, and you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make some new friends out of this too. <laughs> That I'm just, you know, I'm, just, I'm staying very relaxed. I said I just want to see this through and see the finished product and see everybody else's reactions, how and how surprised they'll be if they see this part with me speaking. And I'm, I haven't told anybody about this. I want to make sure, you know, have this be a big surprise too. Sometimes I wonder if you could contact one of those places like Antenna TV or TV Land or Nick at Night and do an Ozzy and Harriet marathon possibly to you know to show that or let people know the incomplete series will be coming out in DVD and that they'll be loaded with bonus features and that's why we're having this marathon to reintroduce America to a classic that ran for 14 seasons yes I'm sure it does because enough people did sponsor this project in their own way and enough people do remember the show. And even though you know our parents and grandparents are some of them, some of them are no longer with us, the children that saw the show in the 1950s do remember the show. And the people who the grand generation that came after that, some of them saw this in reruns if it was available in reruns. And it's, maybe it's a good time to reintroduce it on a, a major cable network to help boost it up again. My personal opinion, feeling more at home. You're at home. And home, they say home is where the heart is. <laughs> where the family is. <laughs>